Hello all, welcome to another tutorial of ERPSC. This is purely educational and learning, learning purpose tutorial. Okay. Today we are going to discuss about CW2IP. Okay. So basically, uh, CW2IP is a capital work in progress, uh, which represents cost incurred date on a fixed assets, which is still under construction on the balance sheet date. Fine. For example, if uh, I want, I have started a project. We have booked the sum cost of the material, services, and something on the particular date, and uh, work is still under the process. Then all the uh, estimated cost which I have uh, expend on the particular project before the completion of work or before the capitalization is calculated as the capital work in progress. How is the capital work in progress is calculated? Uh, now uh, that CWIP become a very important part, okay? and free free cash flow for a company. Free cash flow for a company. For example, CF is computed by subtracting CWIP from the cash flow from the operations. Okay, free cash flow is computed by the CWIP from the cash flow from the operation. And what is the free cash flow? That represents the cash a company generates after accounting for cash outflow to support operation and maintenance its capital assets. You understand? So CWIP play a very important role in the calculations okay, of for a company and uh, in the asset register, the asset class 4100 is for the CWIP asset class. Okay, basically, they are start from 41. So, how can you calculate this uh, uh, CWIP in SAP? We have a GL code of the CWIP, okay. so you can. Uh, Calculate the balance of uh, that GL in particular date using FS10 and okay. And uh, we have a transaction code customized. This is a customized transaction code JPS underscore W cap. So in balance of the open WBS and in the CWIP column, you will get the detail of that uh, WBS. So in the AR02. For example, if I am I'm trying to calculate the AR02, so that is in the double one double zero asset class four one double zero because four one double zero is a asset under construction, asset under construction, and that is the CWIP. We have asset under construction building, asset under construction machinery. So I'm not going to calculate these two, these above top two. I'm going to calculate the AUC journal. Okay. So reporting date is the last date of the financial year. Okay. So once I'm going to calculate this, then all the assets is uh, here in the CWIP is coming. Okay. You can uh, just uh, go down and compute the balance of that. You understand? If you click on this and click on the short, then system will generate the uh, sending order. Okay, these are the major assets in which the CWIP cost is occurred. Okay, so you can work on these CWIP and try uh, once the work is completed, uh, then uh, try to capitalize this CWIP cost in. Okay. So at the quarter end, at the half yearly end, at the financial year end, you can examine this data uh, by discussing with your, your accounts and planning team that what is the progress report of this work which are uh, lying in this CWIP. Once you capitalize this CWIP, then uh, 
the your company asset book value increase by with the amount okay so this is the year 02 method and the second one is the transaction code cw uh, get ps underscore w cap open wbs click on the open wbs okay once the WBS has been closed, then no CWIP is existing in the CWIP ZL because once the completes at assetization is done, then and then only you can close the WBS. Okay. And uh, here, JW, JPS W cap. Okay. We are, uh, we have a AUC amount. And uh, if I'm selecting this column and click on the short in the descending order, see. This is the AUC amount reflecting in these WBS. Okay. The CW IP amount is reflecting in these WBS. So you can uh, just uh, send this data to planning team and uh, try to examine the work in progress. And uh, as soon as possible, you can capitalize. Hope you understand what's uh, description is there. Okay. Oh. Thank you for watching this. Okay, see, this is the CW IP asset 2334000. Hope you understand. This asset is there.